Uh, this is Leila from Radakat. Uh, I decided to create a series about uh, Microsoft Azure Workspace and in each episode I'm going to look at the, one of the components of there and going deep through the uh, how we can use them and what functionality is there. So in the first episode that is this one I'm going to have a look on the environment and how to access this environment and also what component we have over there. So uh, to start, you need to have a Microsoft Azure. So if you don't have it, you can get a free one and or you can apply for a student one to get it and use it. So uh, if you just search for actually Microsoft Azure. Azure and uh, if you just go through the free account so if you are not a student you can actually apply for a free account over here and it give you some credit to start with that and actually start with a 200 dollar us dollar uh, and you can use that or uh, if you are a student and uh, there is a, a plan for the students account so you should just search for student account or benefits there is a free account uh, uh, that's that is for actually uh, a students one and you can apply actually for that one and use it for a year so actually it's renew each year and you can log in with your university account so um and or of course you can use your uh, company account to doing that so after you access to microsoft azure you need to create a uh, resource so in Microsoft Azure for the people who are new to that uh, uh, so uh, we, we can create a folder that we call it as a resource group so you can create a resource group as a folder and put a, every resources uh, or every software that you want to access through that one so here uh, uh, I'm going to create a resource a resource can be anything any component so you see that uh, there are lots of components over here we have different categories for AI and machine learning, for analytics, uh, for the container database from Azure SQL database and the other. So the one that we are going to work is located under the category. So let me uh, zoom it so you can actually see that one clearly. So under the AI machine learning, under the machine learning, you can just click and create that one. So just click on that and create. There are very uh, simple questions asking here. You need to choose a resource group for that, a workspace name, a region. So recommended, it's close to the region that you already there. So it's better to be that one. Uh, and uh, actually it's create uh, everything for you. So I'm just very fast. Create the one. Azure ML workspace Layla. So uh, you see that as long uh, as I'm start to define a name for my workspace, that's a place that I'm going to actually create my models and everything over there, is also allocate a storage account for me, a key valid application inside to track that how much I use, and also a container, you can uh, also allocate a container registry. So you see that is actually, you don't need to create any storage on yourself uh, as long as you create a Azure ML workspace uh, resource here is create some dependence resource like a storage account and also application inside for you so and then you click on review and it's created so after it's created, it's actually just back to the new environment. Uh, under the Azure ML, uh, you will see the normal view of the any resources that you have uh, in the Microsoft Azure. Uh, in the middle of the page, it actually navigates you to a studio, to a place that is called a studio. For people who work with Azure ML Studio, you remember we have a drag and drop environment, but this one is a bit different. So I just click to launch on a studio 
and it's a kind of open and a kind of the second environment for me that most of the uh, features that I want is actually located here. So if you look at here, uh, we have different things. We have um, actually we have outer part that is here. So we have outer. That means that we can generate machine learning through here. So these are three different environment to create a machine learning model that i'm in the next episodes i'm going through them uh, we have some assets uh, from uh, actually uh, from database uh, database uh, data set experiment create a pipeline uh, our machine learning model the uh, web service information and everything that is here again in the next episodes i'm going through them very uh, deeply and uh, finally there are some groups for manage so we have author that is stands for creating the model we have some assets that actually we use them to kind of help us to uh, create the models and actually create the web service and we have some things for manage so manage can be any compute any virtual machine that we created uh, it's actually you can decide which type of virtual machine you want to run your model or after, uh, after that you create your model you want to use it in the real environment uh, in a deployment environment you can also select a specific one so we're going through that all again the environment the data store the place that actually you are going to connect your database uh, if any other services has been linked and also data labeling so they are related about managing your um, models and the work uh, that you've done and uh, that we are going to talk about it soon so here is actually the environment that we have so you can actually set it up in the middle you can see all of the run that has been all of the model uh, that has been done if they are the status if they are completed if they fail what experiment has been used the date uh, and also uh, some other information if they are experiments the regression one or what else so you can click on to see the whole run over here so uh, if you click on that you can see a um, uh, kind of the chart so um, you can see the all of them over here or you can go through the all experiments and under that you can see the different experiments that has been created over here so you know, i will talk about the experiment very soon uh, uh, and also you can have an overview of the compute model and the data set that you already have and uh, some of the very very quick information about that and of course you can access to some tutorials that some of them are really good and uh, kind of help you step by step how to use this resource so uh, the first one is actually that we have so you can create a new um, machine learning through click uh, by click on the this green plus uh, it's actually you can create a new notebook uh, automated ml that i will talk about that data set or the other or you can simply choose them over here but before we going through the whole process uh, let me back to the basics of machine learning that we have so if you remember that uh, from the many uh, sessions and uh, from previous videos that i posted uh, the main uh, uh, aim is actually we collect some data, uh, we clean the data and we prepare the data. Uh, prepare data not just about the, uh, it not only, is not only about uh, accessing the good quality of the data. It's also about cleaning the data for the uh, main uh, machine learning. So each machine learning approaches need specific data cleaning and a specific data uh, modification so after doing that then we have the process of the build and train a model and then deployment definitely this process is not sequential it, there are lots of uh, goings back through that but this is a process that uh, whatever machine learning approaches you use you can see through that one
There is a taxonomy of the workspace that we have here. Um, I will go through all of them that how it actually works. Um, the we you can specify in which virtual machine it should run, the experiments and everything. So we're going through that very fast. So uh, the in the first one that actually we are going to look, I'm just going to very briefly show you what we have. So we have the notebook one. So notebook is actually, uh, if someone works with Jupyter, notebook is an environment that actually allows you to write code. So here uh, in this in this session, I'm going to show you that how you can work with this, with this environment over here. You can uh, add a new uh, file over here. As you can see, it can be a Python code, it can be a R, it can be a text, and you can uh, run your own model over here. But of course, use the Microsoft Azure environment to get the data or uh, do kind of the, uh, for example, using data factory to uh, kind of the getting the data through the process and then apply machine learning here and then load it to the other services using uh, DevOps and other to actually load it to the other environment. But here is actually the place that you can write your own code over here. If you look at some of the pre-built Python code over here, you can see that it's possible to write the code. So I will go through that. One of the sessions is allocated to this one to how to work with um, Microsoft Azure Notebook over here. Uh, one, another episode that I'm going to talk about is about automated ML, about what is automated ML and how automated ML can be really useful. So as you can see here, I already run. So uh, automated ML is for people who don't need uh, actually want to write any code or they are not that much familiar with machine learning. Definitely they need some knowledge about that, but not as deep as that. So. And we're going through that uh, for people who works with uh, Power BI or Power Apps in AI Builder in Power Apps and AI Insight in Power BI, the part that is going to prediction and regression is actually referred to this um, environment. So if you learn how it works, it's actually the same one that you have. And the third part that actually help us to create machine learning is designer. For people who know Azure ML Studio is the same environment. So it's a kind of the drag and drop environment that um, you need to know a bit about machine learning process. But at the same time, uh, you don't need to write the code. It's a very visual environment that helps you to create a machine learning model, compare the a result from different model and how to deploy it. So in all three of them, you can actually create a pipeline for this process. So we're going through them, how to set up a pipeline uh, about uh, how's the process from creating it, uh, collecting the data, and then from creating the model deployment and then import it and to the IoT edge or to other devices this can be a process single process that happened that we're going through that in the same time you may create some models over here so you may create some models through your Azure machine learning or uh, there is also possibility that you get models from other environments so that's a kind of the big deal about that. So you can import models from other framework and use it over here. So it's not limit you to just use the model that create here. You may just use this platform for the creating the pipeline and actually uh, run it and to get the data. So that's also possible. We also have a look on the, how we can get the data from different uh, storage. So we are going to look at the data store, how we can get the data from uh, different data store types. So as you can see here, we have Azure Blob Storage, Azure File, and the other. So we will look at that one. And of course, uh, after you connect to this data store, you uh, kind of going to uh, 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 get some of the data from there so uh, you get some data sets from that data stores and is we are going to see that how it also work uh, at the same time we're going to look at the different uh, virtual machine or compute we call here 
uh, here we have four type of them we are going to see that when use which of them so it's actually they are help us to creating to train the model or at the end if we want to uh, kind of deploy it as a uh, kind of connected to the data breaks or the other how we can use and how uh, to set up each of these so this is a very uh, so this is the environment that I'm going to talk so in the next video we are going to uh, see that how uh, automated ML works we are going to see that how it works what is the concept behind that we create a model uh, and then in the next in the third episode we are going to look at how we can actually call the model that we created in Azure um, uh, actually automated ML inside uh, Azure your notebook uh, so we i'm looking for the second episode of this and uh, we see and we continue through that thanks so much for watching this video